<clears throat> All right, everyone. It is me, Johnson Chan, and uh, hopefully everyone's had a very good week. So I check my request stuff real quick. Make sure, yep, no one's dead. It looks like. Hmm. Okay, open up inventory here, and uh, ah, everything looks uh, handy dandy. All right. So, uh, yeah, so, oh yeah, for those of you who are new, I used to do these every day, these videos, and then I reduced it to five or four days a week, then three days a week, and then now just once a week, because again, I gotta get ready, because my game's about ready to release, um, I technically I can release it now, uh, but let me check my, let's see, but there are two things I want to do. I want to fix the audio volume bug. Basically, I had 16 more volume sliders. That's going to be fun. It really shouldn't take that long, but it's just, you know, it's like there. But on the other hand, at least it keeps my programming and Unity skills uh, kind of exercising, right? And then I have to add a fake loading screen to each scene. So I'm not sure how I'm going to be able to do that because I realize if I add the loading screens, I can use my concept art as the background image because, like, you know, you say, oh, game's loading, you see the nice cool background image, or something like that. You know, that's actually really important for the branding of this game. That's why I want to actually add that. And then I can submit my game to Steam, put in my 100 bucks, so that goes well. Then I can try to figure out, okay, what do I have to do for Google Play, and then ship my product out to that, and then, uh, you know, have the add the Apple Deal app thing going so I can monetize the game, and then get a little bit of the money back. You know, so, but it's, it's really more, it's really still more about building reputation and stuff. You know, I'm still going to run into a problem later on with uh, censorship because, because so, obviously some of the topics I want to cover in my game, I might probably won't be able to do it on Google Play, but I guess I'll just have to worry about that later. You know, go to show how annoying it is. Luckily, it's, that's the only thing that's going to be a problem is the story. So I think I might, I should be able to make it so that, uh, I could probably put like an if statement is like, oh, if Google Play, then, you know, disallow the audio or something. I don't know. We'll see. But I mean, I'm uh, like, I haven't been able to, I haven't had a chance to read any of my John Truby book because, you know, I, I don't even remember what the hell I was doing the past, the past uh, week. But I know I was doing other stuff with the game. So I don't know. It's all like a big blur. Though, of course, we have the stupid shit with the Denver shooting. So, yeah. Um, what I don't understand is why haven't they brought in those nine news people as co-conspirators? Because it, there's obvi it was obviously a conspiracy in the setup, so. Uh, oh well. But anyway, Trump's going to win re-election. Democrats will continue, well, of course, cry fall with the mail-in ballots. Trump's going to re refuse and then probably do something about that. And then uh, I watched a replay of Nick Fuentes' last show. Um... And he said uh, that the White House is actually asking for everyone's resignations uh, after the election for being disloyal. You know, th those who happen to be disloyal. So, um, yeah, so all the good, and he said, and Nick said all the good stuff that we've been having. Actually, is the result of Trump replacing all his traitor, uh, traitor employees. So if he can win the re-election, which he should, despite, you know, because... I 100% know that a Democrat can try to steal the election. I mean, Hillary tried it last time, but because it was Hillary and she was retarded, it didn't go too well. But now, like, they're just going to simply print votes. That's why the mail-in ballot fraud thing is so important to them. So, you know. What I also don't understand is why didn't Trump... Um, I think Trump might have retweeted Project Veritas and the Ilhan Omar uh, print ballot thing, but... I actually haven't heard anything about it since then. So I guess just, you know, more of these assholes just in on it. Um, but I forgot, what was the whole part of the whole law? Oh, yeah. So anyway, the I think the economy should be fine. Everything should recover. So right now, because I didn't do too much research, but I saw a headline in my Twitter feed that said Johnson Johnson is going to stop, is going to halt their vaccine because one of their patients has an unknown illness. So it got me thinking that they might actually deliberately withhold the vaccine to like keep the lockdown bullshit hoax going. So that could actually be a new angle. 
So in the meantime, we'll have to see what happens with the market. So yesterday was really good. Cryptocurrency has been up. We'll get to that in a second. Uh, basically, the markets are back to pre-coronavirus levels. But the problem with that is, is our society is not back to pre-coronavirus levels. Not in the same scale. It's like, you know, everything, a lot of shit is still locked down. Especially the Democrat areas. Uh, the World Health Organization has recently said, yeah, these lockdowns are bad. You should not do them, right? And Trump retweeted that, but of course that doesn't matter because this world is run by evil people. And they're trying to desperately get rid of Trump. But it's not going to happen. And of course, he got me coming into the into the game now. So uh, we'll, see, we'll see what kind of damage we can do to these evil pieces of shit and try to maybe reopen this yeah, world. So anyway, Bitcoin searches for last week remain surprisingly at 9. And of course, this week hasn't been released because it's Tuesday as I write this. Um, okay. Uh, that's actually surprising given that crypto has been going up a little. So I would expect some kind of uptick. Maybe this week the uptick will be up. Uh, anyway, so pretty much uh, after I did my video last Tuesday, uh, Bitcoin has basically gone up to 11,500. Right now it's at 11,400. 15. Davos remains the same, 57.37%. 24 of them is about 50, a little under 53 billion. Not too shabby. Uh, Litecoin was as high as $51.52, and now it's back down to 49.36. It's like crypto just cannot get catch a brick, especially Litecoin. I don't know why everyone's just shitting on Litecoin. Ugh, but let's see, how's Dogcoin doing? Um. Eh, about the same as it usually is, 335.85 million market cap. So it's, you know, stable as it usually is. I don't know, like, uh, I don't want to jump, I mean, I still hold all my stuff in Litecoin, but, hmm, I don't know, let's see. It went up, and then now it's staying at, well, I guess I shouldn't be too complaining about it, right? Because Litecoin used to be at, like, what, 44, 45 at its low, so now it's gained 10% overall or something. Yeah, like most of the uh, Most of the 30-day changes actually has improved significantly. So and yeah over seven days Litecoin has gone up 7.78% so All right fine, whatever, but you know uh, Like until this stupid election is over like we're still not gonna get like Like I, I expect what will happen is there might, there's going to be a boom, however, the Democrats will challenge the results, and then that's going to tank everything, so, uh, it's like, when this is over, like, this kind of crap will never be allowed to happen again. Uh, Blue Acre may be good for Kai, Goldman Sachs, um, Actually, yeah, like if the Democrats do manage to steal election and take power, like one of the things they do want to do is reopen everything just so they can claim that they fixed the problem that they created, right? Because if they continue to keep the economy down, it's like, well, I mean, they could do that, right? Because they have control over it, they just simply blame Trump and say, oh, we're just having a lot of trouble. And then, you know, because all the conservatives were censored off the internet, with the exception of Nick Fuentes, he's the last man standing. Uh, how long that lasts, I don't actually know. Um, yeah, I mean, they'll just, they can just do whatever the hell they want. But in a way, they do still kind of have an incentive to, uh, reopen it. So it just prevents people from getting really angry and blaming the Democrats. So we'll, we'll, we'll see how it happens. House Powell to seek break of a tech guys GOP member. Uh, we already covered this last time. Uh, let me see. I'm just going to skim this real quick. House Bell led by Harry Vescai, the Terry has proposed this video to block it today for all both market clients selling their own product and then according to critique by, uh, of the recommended by one rep Oh, okay. Well, actually, we will read this. This is new material. Okay. Uh, I don't really care about the rest. Uh, let's refresh it because now it's after 9.30, so the markets are technically open. Yeah, this isn't that bad at all. Uh, Warren's uh, need fresh stimulus. Yeah, they're working on the stimulus and Trump definitely wants it. How it actually uh, goes down, we'll have to see. Um, yeah, because I didn't even bother listening to the Supreme Court hearings. I don't even know why people are freaking out about it. Um, so quite frankly, I don't really know if I could trust her anyway. But, I mean, she's going to be the nominee, so I'll well, we'll just have to see what happens. Oh, this stock is doing really well. Holy shit. Something happened. 
course, there's still no options, so I guess we're gonna have to go at Ledger X. JFC Coins at six to seven. Uh, it's really more like seven, so that's good. Um, uh, yeah, it's a decent size buys. Uh, 404 coin continues to do all right, though it's been going down a little bit as you know expected because eventually hyperinflation, uh, you know, just you know does its uh thing with. Oh, I already memorized my spell of this character for that. Okay, good. Yeah, because uh, wait, this is Crow. Uh, yeah, because eventually hyperinflation is just going to wreck the price on all these coins. So you know that's why I eventually had to create 100 coin and speed coin to deal with that problem. Uh, yeah. So anyway, it's at 66 to 67, but I mean it's already very low volume. So because again the supply is still pretty low. Two by two is doing all right. Nine to ten. You know, a lot of buys at 10. You know, buy order minimum is 9.7%. So I guess it will be around for a while, at least several months. Rex is the same thing, 9 to 10. Uh, more trade volume, of course. Uh, let's see, 100 coin after, now, now that the uh, trade contest is over, uh, you know, 100 coin's been doing a lot better. Uh, Crux has not gotten back to me, so I guess I'll have to wait till tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, because they don't work. They don't work Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. So, uh, one hundred coins at thirty point seven to thirty three point three satoshis of a Bitcoin. So it's you know, and you look at the buying pressure. You know, very solid, very good. Because I refuse to sell even below thirty. It's like uh, I I rather just give my coins away. That that's essentially what you know what what's going to happen. Obviously, I'm not going to do that because I'm not retarded. Uh, so you know, uh, and yeah, I kind of wonder the people who like do the tr fake trade volume. I wonder if you know they're all, uh, you know, the same person with ten different Crux accounts. You know, so uh, that's, that's something for me to think about. Um, uh, actually, I'm gonna write a um, coin fo. Where's the Twitter link? Actually, I'm gonna write a uh, tweet for this now. Um. Okay, because I, because I want to make sure that everyone knows that we're gonna run in our trade contest. Another trade contest on Crux twenty four, Crux twenty four or one hundred, or one hundred coin will be running again this week, waiting on them to respond. Stay tuned. Crypto news. <clears throat> Let's see. Skills here, maybe kind of matter face the set questioning on day two. Yeah. Well, it doesn't really matter because the Republicans are just an auto approver anyway, so. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, because. <clears throat> but the problem is those stupid asshole fake conservative Republican traders. In Congress don't want to give everybody twelve hundred dollars in stimulus. <clears throat> so, uh, <clears throat> my my fault. I I really hate when I have a frog in my throat. <clears> throat> One of the things I'm going to be focusing on once my game company is established. <clears throat> yeah, this is really starting to annoy me. Once my game company is established, um, I definitely look into starting the primary, uh, primarying all these, uh, you know, pieces of garbage shitheads like Ben Sass and Lindsey Graham and you know other never Trumpers, because you know there's what's the point of voting Republican if you know they're just gonna basically just not even vote Democrat but just simply vote for their donors and screw everybody else over. Like that's actually a big. Big reason why probably I'm pretty sure that's a big reason why people choose to vote Democrat and then they fall for all the lies of the shit libs and then we have to deal with their crap right such as the lockdown among like a million other stupid things and it's just very annoying to deal with it so that's what uh but you know I think I'll be the game plan we'll have four years four and a half right because I don't know who's gonna take over after Trump in 2024 uh but yeah that's the staying over story with uh. 100 coin also the whole point is where is it and then yeah i just tweeted the thing out so 
Yeah, right here. One minute ago. So uh, once Crex gets back to me, I'm checking my mail. I don't see anything here. I'm going to refresh my Gmail. I'm selling Chrome right now. Yeah, nothing. So no, they already got back to me tomorrow. All right, that's no big deal. We're going to try to make it earlier. So if they get back to me tomorrow, yeah, I'm going to have to set it for Friday again. Because sometimes they respond quickly, sometimes they don't. And there's a time difference, so the response is basically delayed like by 18 hours. Speedcoin's at 81 to 86.7. Um, so there's still a trade contest for this going, so I'm hoping when it reaches the final hours, this thing will skyrocket. Uh, the problem with Speedcoin is it actually does not share the same thing as like what see 100 coin also happens to be the same symbol as a bunch of other coins that use the same uh symbol as you know one so 100 coin actually is getting the built-in benefit of free marketing from the other coins especially because uh it can pull data erroneously i might add from the other coins that's why um BTC pop has a price listing for 100 coin because it's pulling from a different coin, which makes people think it's valuable, which it, which it is. Speed coin does not have that benefit, right? It's the same thing that happened with compound coin too, actually. So basically speed coin is probably going to be languishing for quite some time. Unfortunately, it'll still make money, but it's just going to be so irritating. But I think with enough trade contests, I think speed coin can kind of a salvage situation which and it sucks too because i originally wanted to call this star coin and there is a star coin on coin market cap so this coin would have it's worth like six and a half cents so it definitely would have just been worth like 11 trillion dollars and i'm just like ah you know it's so frustrating <clears throat> yeah not now my nose is so yeah it's like uh now, one thing I'm thinking of is maybe I can hire the wallet builder guy to just simply do a, uh, I don't know what I call a hard fork, because technically the coins will still be the same, just like a cosmetic fork. And then we'll just rebrand it as Starcoin. All right, but that would require also changing the symbol here too. So uh, I think we'll just have to deal with the hand we've been dealt and just hope and just rely on my games and shit to, uh, you know, do the do do the auto, auto marketing for us uh, we'll have to see because you know at least there's one thing video gamers do tend to be a lot more cryptocurrency friendly so yeah anyway speed coin will you know it's stabilizing it really should be worth like at least a few hundred but you know we're gonna have to, i'm gonna have to we or i or just time will have to work it all right so all right, nothing new here. Uh, thank you to the one new person that subscribed, I think. Maybe two? Well, definitely at least one, maybe two new people. So, uh, yeah, welcome, welcome. Just, uh, again, for those of you who are new, I only do this once a week now because I'm just too busy with other stuff. Once you see my game, then you'll uh, then you'll understand. And then after that, you probably have to do all the support stuff for it just to you know get feedback. And then eventually take a little bit of time off. Well, that technically will also be my time off, right? And then I want to work on the second game, the real game. <clears throat> right? That has the multiplayer, that has the microtransactions, that has like all the branding and sh well, I'll have more branding, more story. And because I have more time, I'll have more time to, you know, work on my script, you know, the John Truby stuff. So it's definitely going to be a very, is it, this look, I know I refreshed this earlier. Uh, so there's definitely going to be a definite roadmap. Too much to say, really. Bitcoin price dump not going to happen as real estate is off exchanges. Yeah, it's like, why are people talking about a dump? The price has been going up. Like, are just people like, are people just so brain dead? Um, billionaire UK newspaper articles, DeFi tech revolutionary. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Uh, what the hell is this? Oh. Uh, yeah, I don't see anyone complete, so that's good. Okay. Uh, blockchain can add 1.76 trillion to global GDP by 2030. Yeah, I could definitely see that, especially by 2030. That's 10 years from now. That's actually probably too small of a number. Ripple CTL sold 40k Ether for just $1 each. Yeah, I, mean, I was shitting on uh, Ethereum. I still kind of do, but... Now that I actually understand what the hell it does, 
it does seem pretty uh pretty legit if you're not you know using the ICL system to scam people which is still the problem 17k bitcoin pro uh we're not gonna all right so i hate to say this but there doesn't seem to be any real uh consultation on digital ruble actually i do want to read that countries making their own crypto uh, bitcoin is you know always a big thing competition for global crypto market dominance heats up well, that's funny because uk just banned all that shit. <laughs> major peer-to-peer crypto pilot block in russia yeah, European Central Bank seeks public input on digital euro. One hour ago, we did we talked about this last. Time. I feel this is not deja vu. Former Steam devs believe CPU money is the key to a fair launch for block. Yeah, I don't care about that. Why the U.S. needs crypto to win on currency or China electrical capital? I don't care. They buzz out on the tone. Man, who does their artwork? Man, their artwork is so good, so colorful. This is insane. Like, this cannot be stock photos. So, like, there's just too much different variations here. This is insane, man. Like, wow. Like, their artwork must be good. Uh, Weak friend. Oh, God, shut up. So, I used to really like Sean Hay, and it turned out he's just a boomer, fake right grifter like the rest of those, you know, F word losers. Her legacy, Gritalia, opened a new chapter in history of Scream Americas. That's true. He even point out the fact that he was a, a great Italian. Well, Nick Fuentes will be happy about that. And, you know, all the white supremacy, white supremacy, you know, idiots are going to freak out. Actually, we could probably take a look. Uh, let me... I'm surprised. I'll, actually, I'm not logged in here, so maybe they got built-in buck on it. I really hate when there are flies in my place. Uh, let's see. All right, it's probably, you know, probably, oh, oh, like, sorry, it's okay. Just kidding. I guess I was trying to save two times, but just, okay. So, all right, whatever. He's just doing standard stuff. All right, let's see. Um, House panel wants to break up big tech. Okay, House panel led by Democrats, best in competition, blah, 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 blah. Uh, I'm surprised any Democrats want to do this because uh, there's only a handful of Republicans are honestly against big tech censorship. The critique of the Pals report is still drafts and Kyle both could change. That clay, which I will address the report, whose release has been delayed because of last minute information regarding Facebook, CNBC, and a report after the last year pushback. Blah, 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 blah. The recommendations which could represent the most dramatic of competition law indicted if approved by a result of a year long investigation by the House Antitrust Panel led by. Democrat David Sicily, that pros kind of as as federal state trust enforcers are also investigating Google and Facebook. Sicily's recommendation include what he call, has called a glass steel law for tech platforms, going to a draft, blah, 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 blah which was poor. Buck said that the recommendation some others in the staff report would be non to the GOP. Glass steel refers to the depression. Okay. Sicily Pro would prohibit tech companies from entering different lines of business and amount to a Break up of the companies according to Buck. Oh, that's really good. Amazon, for example, will be prevented from selling its own products, Amazon Basics, which I happen to have, by the way. Uh, it's marketplace, while Google couldn't own both the world's biggest search engine and YouTube. Oh, that actually could work. I mean, YouTube will still be owned and run by shit libs, right? Because they'll have both the employees go, probably. But at least by at least decentralizing the power will at least make it a little easier for us to get our free speech back uh this could also be pretty good for and apple would be barred from owning the app store and offering its own apps well this doesn't yeah well this doesn't help because like apple doesn't offer its own apps anyway like it's probably well, actually that's not true maybe they offer other shit but it's probably not that big of a deal for them they'll just get it everywhere else I mean, you'll just get on a different platform. Like, oh, uh, you want the Apple iTunes on your uh, App Store, uh, Apple uh, App Store? No, well, no, we can't. So, all right, you just have to download it off the like, uh, you know, Apple.com/slash whatever the hell their link is, iStore or some shit. No, actually, no, that is their store. Um, iTunes or something like that, or iTunes.com. Uh, but the big one for me is YouTube. You know, as long if we get some semblance of free speech back, that would be great. I still have to censor my game though, because they're still probably going to disallow. Like, well, I can't curse, which fine, but like certain big, like really adult topics, like for example, like 
in my game, like in my story, I definitely want, you know, like an angry black person who's like, I don't know, like his family gets killed by like, by like bad cops or some shit. And he goes like, you know, fucking super Rambo mode, right? And he steals uh, like neutronium armor, right? Basically disguises himself as like a super Marine. Uh, you know, and then like Lyle not, and then Lyle has to like put the guy down, but it looks really bad. And then the Empire is like, you see, America is full of hate, and you know, like what 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 like Lyle is doing, he's just slaughtering all of you. And he's like, you stay with the Empire, stay with us, and we will crush you know that kind of thing. So, like you know, all the stuff that's happening now, I put into the game, and I obviously have to change it around so it's you know take takes place in the future. <laughs> so something like that that can go on steam and like the web browser of the game but definitely probably not google play or the app store so and then when people ask me why isn't it there i'll just say oh yeah their terms of service will uh, ban the thing just like they banned everything else so i just leave it on the internet you know i would like to put it on the mobile store but you know google and apple are just going to be ass uptight assholes about it so, you know, you want to know why you don't get your day on the sun and justice and all Because I'm going to be playing the left against big tech, too. Uh, which isn't that hard, because they actually do actually censor the left. Just not as bad as, as the right. And it's like, yeah, it's their fault, you know? Because, hey, you have what, you know what's in there, so, you know. Uh, so instead of, you know, screaming at white people all day, maybe you should start screaming at, you know, Apple and Google for, like, you know, not letting you have your day in the sun because they're not letting you have your day in the sun they're just liars uh, the majority's prior remedy to create competition in tech marketplaces to enact legislation and create structural separation well, that's good buck wrote in the discussion i keep thinking it's ken buck who the hell is buck here yeah it is ken buck yeah republican ken buck yeah it is the same guy Ken Buck wrote in the description, Buck said he agrees with Sisley on the need to rein in the power of tech companies and agrees with certain remedies such as giving more resources to competition enforcers. Uh, spokespeople for Sicily Buck didn't immediately respond to comment. Sicily told Bloomberg in an interview in August that the companies are engaging in deeply asserting abuse of dominance that can crush competitors. The panel issue referred to very... Clearly one of the have featured testimony by the chief executives by uh, these assholes. Uh, the draft report would also recommend legislation that would require the tech companies to allow users to easily move their data from one website to another. Uh, yeah, that shouldn't be too hard. I mean, that tech, this technically already happens, right? You know, because like if I play a game, like I used to play Bit Heroes, right? It still drew the same inf uh, same data from Steam or Go uh, Google Play or whatever or emulator. It still drew from the same data, so. <clears throat> uh, Cross-platform tra data transfer should not be a problem, like at all, because we technically already do it. It also recommends legislation to shift the burden of proof in murder cases of tech companies, capital market share in some areas to 25% for buyers, overturn Supreme Court and other decisions that critics say have hampered enforcement for blocking murder that eliminate arbitration clause in terms of service. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is actually really good. This is very good. I like this. Uh, in addition, because the Supreme Court's a piece of shit uh, institution. Quite frankly, I don't even know why we have it. Like, like they, we don't need it anymore. Because states will just do their own thing anyway, right? Like, like the U.S. Constitution says, you shall not infringe on our Second Amendment rights. But New York City, or New York for that matter, bans guns. And I don't see anything happening against them. It's all bullshit. <clears throat> so why are they? Why are they there? In addition to Sicily and investigating federal and state electorate are poised to file a certain monopolization. I've been hearing about this for like forever. So where the fuck is it? Where, where like where is it? You know, and additional cases could be in the pipeline. Bloomberg's reported F U uh, F T C is preparing a possible case against Facebook and Amazon and Apple are facing queries by antitrust authorities. Yeah, the only reason why this probably isn't going as fast as it should be is because we have, you know, the F-words like Ben Sass and Charlie Kirk and Lindsey Graham and all these fake Republican and idiots like Sean Hannity who's like, Amazon has a right to just make trillions and then it doesn't matter if it fucks over all of America. It's like, yeah. Like, there's a reason why this time it's going to be different, right? In, my, in the past, I made a conservative versus liberal thing where obviously conservatives are portrayed more nicely. And the liberals not so much 
right? This time it's going to be different. It's just strictly going to be Christian versus Christian, conservative versus conservative. Because it's been because my story script's been evolving over the decades as I've been working on the script, you know, you know, on and off, you know, just like Quentin Tarantino, like when he says he's been working on his scripts for years, it's really because he's just thinking about it, but he wants to make it great and perfect, and then he's just adding to it, right? I added to it yesterday and a couple of days ago, right? And then just you know, I have, I have like this big, 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 big long list, right? So, you know, uh, master. Masterpieces take a long time, but you know when it comes out, yeah, I mean, you know, that's the stuff that studios will pay millions for. But I'm not going to sell for millions. I want like the, I want the pie, and I want to, I want my percentages if I were to sell out. But I'm going to try to stay independent. Let's make it clear because I know who runs the these the Hollywood, all right? And yeah, it's Pato Bear and no name tribe that we cannot name or hint at anymore for now. It wasn't immediately clear whether other competitor ability to talk about with Joy Ken Bucks. This is exactly why we gotta get rid of these, you know, fake F word re Republican pieces of shit. It wasn't immediately clear whether other committee Republicans to play like top ranking GOP would join Ken Buck's recommendations. Yeah, because they're fake right grifting assholes. Jim Sensenbrenner, who is a top Republican on the subcase, said in October 1st here that he has just all he disagree on the future of antitrust laws. Because you're a piece of shit and you need to be removed from office. Jim Jordan, the top Republican on the judiciary that closed after his has really used the investigator here to rail against the company's science theory, But it, of course, they say allegedly science. No, it's true. Buck in the report expressed concern about censorship across the political spectra, aside bias against conservative outlets, per size in particular. Buck said the Democrats. Will work away imposing restrictions that would make it tougher for tech companies to grow by car the first while Buck didn't provide deal with the He described the shifting burden of proof in merger cases. Okay. During the investigation, committee members often complain that tech companies have been able to solidify their dominance by acquiring promising startups with little to no scrutiny from enforcers. The head of the antitrust division said the courts have made it impossible for the government to stop dying from acquiring nasty competitors. So apparently this uh, the court thing is really a big deal. That could make it easier for anti enforcers to block deals. Buck said he supported a bit burden shifting approach. He said Congress should gather more information on our proposal that America about acquisitions of future rivals and startups like Facebook's takeover of Instagram. Such a ban would prevent startups from profiting from their ideas by selling another company or reduce incentive for it. I think one thing I need to also do in my game is to, because I'm also going to try to break down conservative ideology. Like, I'm going to be railing against just the concept of ideology. But another thing I need to also look at is money. Like, I have to break down the, the conservative, I guess this is an offshoot of it, but it's really more of a bigger thing. I have to, like, break down the part where people, like, money is everything. Right? No, it's not. It's, uh, it just causes problems. Because all these idiots, right, th uh, think money is everything, that's why they're like, oh yeah, let's pass laws where it makes, where we just allow Google to buy up everything and then make a lot of money because that's what matters. No, that's the complete opposite and it, like fucks everything over. Now, I did read The Infinite Game by Simon Sinek and he actually talked about this too. Uh, he said, um, what the hell did he say? He said that in the 80s or so 70s going in the 80s for sure like there was a shift to profits or everything and he said that's really bad and then he had some long-winded thing about why but basically yeah that's 100 percent true right because you have to worry about the uh, about the people making that money right here it's make money at all costs screw the people and that's reflected in our laws and of course naturally the idiot boomer republicans who are uh handing all their fucking money to their fucking asshole F4 donors who hate Americans, who hate conservatives, and definitely hates white people for some strange reason. Yeah, it's like we're all paying the price for that. Right? And of course it, it emboldens the Democrats too, so they can keep doing their lockdown shit. It's like an endless negative feedback loop. Uh, so we have to put a stop to that too. And we will. Uh, hopefully soon though. Uh, reports are going to face an uphill battle with more time with time running out in this country. They real it won't happen until 2021, which is of course the purpose. The likely running our holdings long time scholar chain antitrust law, even if the election hands the Senate majority of the Democrats will get to still use procedural tools to block bills from passing. Well, they'll just be removed from the equation because these idiot Republicans are just going to get banned off the internet. Right? They're already actively censoring Donald Trump, right? He, like when he talks about coronavirus, they censor that shit. So yeah. All right, very good.
but this is uh this is very good though very good and you'll notice that uh, up until like a couple days ago this thing sat at like four views so like google doesn't like it youtube doesn't like it when i cover antitrust stuff but it is news that's obviously important uh oh well, no one seems dead so that's a good sign um yeah so all right let's see what russia is up to and then we can call it a call it a week you back of russia issues consultation paper on digital ruble russia bank says that the digital ruble could be an initial for money alongside cash and non-cash yeah this is going to definitely be the natural uh this is such a shitty picture that's why i'm probably going to just use this as a thumbnail uh yeah like this is the future governments will issue their own bitcoin right their own crypto right We've got america coin which will take forever china coins are i haven't heard about their role i just know they've been working hard on it and then russia looks like they're explaining russia coin so everyone's going to be doing it and then a bunch of european countries are on top of that portugal coins out canada coin i haven't heard about it since i know i covered it last year i think but i haven't heard about the central bank of canada talking about it since then but i know they've been very interested uh france coin has come out there's a bunch of others tanzania or tasmania i think it's coming out. i don't know I, I i always think of the tasmanian devil from like those bugs bunny cartoons but um yeah the uh i don't know what some, something like that with a t but yeah a lot of countries are coming out of their own crypto so and aren't you you know venezuela has their own venezuela coin but that's banned right now because the maduro thing dictatorship thing Russian financial authorities have conferred the government purported pledge to issue uh, Russia coin. Uh, Bank of Russia released a consultation paper on a digital ruble. Generally said that digital ruble could come in an additional form money alongside cash and non-cash out of Russia's CAC project. When I the creation of additional payment infrastructure, bank said. <sighs> mm. Excuse me. The bank also said that a digital ruble will have all the necessary properties to perform functions of money. The project style will be determined by the authorities in the near future. The bank said, According to the paper, the digital ruble is designed to make payments faster, more simple, and secure. The bank also noted that a C let's start with you. National digital currency will also limit the risk of reallocation of funds into foreign digital currencies, contributing to macroeconomic okay. Uh, so they'll have e-wallets, small devices, blah, blah, blah. Of course, it's available everywhere, online, offline, it's so a minor area, media, supplemental. It'll also evolve our all agency, kind of like citizen advantage. Uh, okay, so Russia's very serious about creating their Russia coin. Okay, in August, they don't bank. It was considered a ruble bank stable coin. <clears throat> well, that's basically what they're doing. I mean, I guess Russia could do a little different and then try to create like a proof of stake thing and then just make it inflate on its own by like 5% a year or something. So basically, it's like having a fixed 5% interest rate on your ruble savings account, except that, you know, it's a crypto, so they're not really going to change. I mean, they could still change the code, right? Um, so, but yeah, that's good. That'll be, uh, that's, uh, that's interesting. So Russia coins getting in on the crypto game, even though they've been banning like Bitcoin and all that stuff. I guess maybe it's because they, one, they're worried about, I guess, money laundering, but two, maybe they just want to clear, clear out the competition. If you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from, <clears throat> or on my uh, YouTubes at youtube.com forward slash GMC radio. Make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right hand side of this page so we can continue growing this channel. So uh, obviously I'm done for the week, just one once a week doing these videos. So uh, yeah, I'm actually starting to get hungry. It's only 10.05 a.m. So, but I don't have to lift weights today too. All right, I don't know why either my frog voice keeps catching a frog. So <clears throat> I'll see you all uh, in next week's video. Um, yeah, I mean, stuff will continue to happen. Uh, but I mean... No, I'm just rambling. Um, so not much is going to really happen until the stupid election is technically... The first phase of the election is over on November, what, 3rd or whatever the two, first Tuesday is. And then... Actually, is it always the first Tuesday? Uh, I forget. Ugh, I can't remember if it's always the 3rd of every November. But either way, once that hurdle is all, uh, over, then we have to probably wait for the fallout from the Democrats challenging the results, of course. 
Uh, and then after that, uh, we'll have some stability, but I mean, I know for a fact Trump's not going to concede the election because he said so as much. Like, he knows it's all a scam. So at that point, it should be up to the U.S. military to decide what they're going to do. Um, they might, so the, the shit libs in the, the U.S. military might threaten to open fire on people, but that's going to, A, piss off their other fellow combat on arms. And onward two, uh, it's just a bad look, right? You know, so and I thought we all still have our guns, so uh, yeah, um, yeah, that'll be interesting. Yeah, so I think I think it should be okay. It should be okay, but we'll have to see. Anyway, I'll see you all in next week's video, unless of course something so major happens, we'll do a video on that. But for the most part, uh, yeah. I mean, crypto is going up. Today's a little down there because it was going up a little. Now it has to drop. It has to come back down a little because you can't go straight up. Uh, whether it's going to continue going up, uh, yeah, we'll see. I mean, hopefully. Um, the mark, at least the equity market says that it basically should be pre coronavirus levels. So. But again, there's a lot of uncertainty with the stupid markets and they're manipulating the result. You know, I'm going to just turn this off because predicted. Uh, worthless like it started going straight up after trump beat the shit out of biden on the debates and even cnn couldn't censor that you're like <laughs> yeah but they're pulling out they're getting desperate so yeah anyway see you all next week thanks for watching johnson chan jmc coin 100 coin we'll look out for the contest uh later this week speed coin and um wait a little bit of while yep there's our thumbnail